Um, I sought out Advisor Plus, oh God, it must be a good few years ago now when I worked for Studio Retail um, and we were considering looking at more mental health and wellbeing. It had been quite a macho culture and we'd rebranded from Express Gifts to Studio. And as part of that, it wasn't just a name change above the door. We wanted to set a new cultural tone. Our sickness absence levels weren't great. Um, and, you know, we were running out at full pelt as part of a digital transformation. Pat had been recommended to me by one of my team. And when we met her, it was just a no brainer. Why wouldn't we use Pat? Um, the expertise that she had, the fact that she influences government policy and um, was really shaking it up in terms of, you know, it was OK not to be OK. So I um, we did a short program of training our managers at studio and then it just developed into a full blown mental health awareness uh, first aid program. It was brilliant. I would say that we chose Pat, in all honesty, because of the position she held sitting on the government advisory body and the fact that she would be influencing policy. She'd be getting access to the latest thinkers, influencing more broadly just the businesses she was touching, but actually influencing, you know, the, 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 um, you know that across a much broader scale. Yeah, she was the same price as everybody else, but I just felt we were getting that added value of having that extensive network that she had access to. And I'll be honest with you, I think when you're looking for an external provider, it's that personal connection. And I thought, no, I actually want to go on one of Pat's courses. I want to go and, you know, one of these mental health awareness. So uh, it is much as, yes, the government, and it was great. I think it was just the fact that I could see Pat training hundreds of our people. And that's what, that's why we went for Advisor Plus. And that's why we went for Pat. And I do make sure that Pat and Helen are on all of the programs because every program they've run, the feedback has been amazing. So um, I do get a bit picky when I sign the contract that it must be Pat and Helen. <laughs> hmm. Well, initially we were just putting training in place for managers um, on knowing when to spot that some of their team may be struggling and know where to point them in the right direction to get that support, not to be counsellors themselves, but just know the signs to look out for and be able to signpost um, those individuals. I have to say, we put all of our line managers through it as part of a broader uh, leadership and development program. And there's one, and I will not try to get emotional because I did at the time when we heard it. After putting all of our line managers through that, we had a letter from the parent of some one of our um, former, well, one of our employees of my former business, where that manager had actually saved that person's life because they were about to go and commit suicide. But they did everything that Pat had taught them about on the course, where to go, what to do, the networks to pick into. And we prevented someone from taking their own life. And that individual's parent wrote into us to say, I can't thank you enough because my child is still here. You know, a grown adult, but it's still their child mm -hmm. is still here because of the training you put in place. And I do you know what? And it still chokes me up to this day, but that you can't pay for that. So that was it was amazing and from there everybody wanted to kind of be developed not just line managers people were asking could we have mental health first aiders those mental health first aiders and those that have been trained set it kind of grew a life of its own they set up their own whatsapp chat groups they created weekday walks people were having their one-to-ones you know with a walk and talk we had chat and chew sessions it just changed the kind of cultural feel of you know, it's okay sometimes to take a few minutes away from your work and just clear your head and then come back. And it made that whole program made that okay. Whereas I think we'd previously come from quite a, a command and control culture where, you know, if you weren't perceived to be sitting at your desk, then you weren't working hard. I think it just made us a much more caring organization. And now that was in retail. You translate that into a care home sector. Well, you've got to care for the care workers who are caring for the residents. It became even more prevalent and way more prevalent over the pandemic. It was really that programme will always hold a special place in my heart. And that's why I'll be honest with you, when I went to my next organisation, I didn't even ask anybody else to pitch. Yeah. Why would you, you know, why would you when you have Advisor Plus, Pat, Helen, and I'm sure there are others um, who are more, you know, are as capable as Pat and Helen, but it's th that program has been hugely beneficial now at sunrise and gracewell we are 5000 employees we support almost 3000 residents across our 46 sites and as soon as the pandemic hit 
you know, I was picking up the phone to, you know, to advise a plus and Pat and Helen to say, right, we are going to have to support our people here. Um, people were frightened. Residents were frightened. Their family members were frightened for those residents in our care home. Um, so we put in place a similar program where we trained all of our land managers, you know, to know what to look out for, to be able to signpost their teams and their people in the right direction. Um, and to be able to cope through the pandemic and recognize that, you know, people are going to be in different places at different times. So that we kicked that piece of work off. We did it as a couple of pilots around communities. And now this is where we moved it to digital and we moved it to online because we couldn't let anybody in our communities. And neither could we let some of our communities, you know, go to hotel venues, which most of which were shut. Um, so I have to say, Advisor Plus flipped that material to be digital and online and virtual within a matter of weeks for us. You know, they worked really closely with us to make the case studies really specific to our sector of some of the challenges that we'd be going through. And that training went down an absolute storm. Um, we sent them cups of tea, we sent them biscuits. We asked people, particularly on the one day programs to work from home so they wouldn't have the distractions um, and without fail. And it's probably the biggest program and I've run loads of leadership and development and put most, you know, our people on lots of different um, development opportunities. This is the one where I always get the most emails to say, oh my God, that was amazing. Didn't even know I needed it. I was a nurse. I thought I knew it all, but actually this has been a really good refresher. So again, that went down so well that we now have over 80 mental health first aiders in our business. Um, and we at least have two in each of our communities and we have five or six in our support office, which has been absolutely invaluable to support people over the pandemic. And as we come out of the pandemic and we started to open our homes up again, that created a level of anxiety too. Pat and the team were amazing, really helpful, asked lots of questions to understand our particular challenges so that when they develop the case studies to go through the practical elements of the training, they can make it as bespoke as they can um, to our type of sector. There's no point talking about what it'd be like in a shop or for Royal Mail when actually this is a care home environment. So I think the fact that they tailor the material so that people can resonate and can connect with the stories and think that could be me. I could have that situation in my home. Um, that's, I think, what makes them stand out. They don't just deliver generic content. They do try to tailor it to the needs of your organisation and the challenges that you're going through. It's difficult to pin down an exact benefit other than you can see by the feedback that people have come back with to say, this has been amazing. It's been really eye opening. I think the fact that our sickness absence levels have gone down. Um, now, a lot you could attribute a lot of that that people no longer have COVID and have been, you know, vaccinated. But our absence levels have gone down. But the big thing is our employee turnover dropped by forty percent. When you think that a lot of care um, homes had actually gone up of people not wanting to work in the sector because they felt it was too dangerous. So. I wouldn't say that's all down to that program, but it's certainly an influencing factor that people genuinely felt we cared for them as much as we cared for our residents. And the kind of example we always use is when we were kind of going out to communicate is, it's a bit like when you're on the airplane, you've got to put your own mask on and make sure you're okay before you can help anybody else. And I think the same applied in this um, sector over the pandemic and supporting our people. Without a shadow of a doubt, I would highly recommend Pat. And I have done on many occasions to some of my network where I know they've gone in and done some really great programs. They are, they do exactly what they say they're going to do on the tin. I think the fact that Pat is the government um, on the government advisory body and can, you know, influence that policy and bring that policy to us straight away as soon as it's launched. I think they're really competitively priced um, in terms of what their offer is. I think they're really flexible in terms of how they deliver it, whether it's face-to-face, -face, whether it's virtual. And I think the fact that the content is bespoke to your needs is really what steps them apart from everybody else. So I genuinely wouldn't have any hesitation whatsoever in recommending them to somebody else. So no, not at all.